What up, it's Purger, back with another video. Today I'm here to teach you how to downgrade Windows Pro to Windows Home. Now this isn't activated, whether it is or isn't, it's still going to work. Make sure to make a uh, backup to your computer because you're going to be having to go through the registry and when you edit the registry, you don't want anything to mess up, so you make a backup. Um, a further from that, the reason why you would want to downgrade from Pro to Home is, for example, like me, I want to activate Windows, but I don't want to pay $200. And the reason I bought Pro was because I thought I could take advantage of maybe a few more additional features that they may hand you for an extra price. But unfortunately, this is only for companies and more encryption, advanced technical security features for companies and corporations. Don't need it. Nothing benefits me here. So we're going to be reverting to home. And you may have done the same thing or may just want to downgrade in general. Comment down in the description why your reason is. So the first thing you want to do is go to the search bar and type in registry editor run as an administrator say yes to account control once you're in the registry editor you want to go to H key local machine click the drop down menu then you want to go to software click that drop down menu then go all the way down to Microsoft. And then a pretty long list here. You want to go all the way down to Windows NT right here. Click the drop down menu and go and click current version. From this menu on the right, you want to look for two things. But the first one is going to be product name. It's going to identify as Windows 10 Pro. We want to change that. So we're going to change the registry to identify as Windows 10 Home. Then click OK. Next on the same list we're going to go up to Edition ID. It says Professional. If you click that, it's going to say Professional. We're going to change this to Core. Just click OK. So we're going to be doing this in another area, but it's always easy to close the folders so you can see where everything is. But if we go all the way back up to HKEY Local Machine and Software, the next folder we need to get to is the WoW 64-32-node folder. Once you're at that folder, you go down to the Microsoft folder. Another long list pops up, but scroll all the way down to Windows NT and then current version. Look for product name. It'll say Windows 10 Enterprise. We want to change that by clicking that and typing in Windows 10 Home. And the last one we need to edit is the addition ID. It's going to say Enterprise. We're going to retype that in as core. Once you're done with everything, you can just exit out that. Alright, so now that we got the registry changed, we're going to be downloading the media creation tool. So to do this, all we're going to be doing is searching up media creation tool. We're going to look for the Microsoft official website. Click that. Create Windows 10 install media. 
Okay, from here, it's going to basically install another Windows 10, but it's going to overwrite your current one. But it still needs to be an ISO file, so I'm going to teach you how to do that through the install process. You're not going to need a DVD for this, although it says you might need to burn a DVD, but that's not the case. It's going to give you an option to create installation media on a USB or upgrade this PC now. Do not click upgrade this PC now. Do create install media. Click next. Keep all the settings as recommended. Press next. For this one, you will be downloading as a ISO file, but without burning it to a DVD drive, like it says. Click next. Select your downloads location. Save. And it's going to start downloading it to the drive. Once it's completed, it's going to ask you to burn the file to a DVD. You do not need to do this, as I said earlier. All you need to do is just click finished. Once it installed, go back into your folder, go to your downloads, right click on Windows, then click the option to mount. It's going to open the folder. Then what you want to do is go to the bottom and click setup. It's going to launch the Windows setup and what you're going to want to do here is change how Windows Setup downloads updates. You don't want to download the updates yet. If you want to get this fast and done over with, you click that and you say not right now. A reason for this is because you already have the drivers, so it wouldn't make no sense to actually download them again. Click next. It's going to check your PC. It's going to give you an agreement. Then it's going to tell you that you're keeping your personal files and apps as well as installing Windows 10. Once you click Next, it's going to start installing Windows 10. This may take a few minutes. So the computer is officially done with all the updates and the constant restarting. Now I don't have a product key for this because I haven't activated it. However, if we go to the store and we wanted to buy Windows, it would be a lot cheaper than it originally was at $139 instead of $200. And I don't get a whole bunch of unnecessary features I wouldn't use. $60 cheaper. Give this a like if you enjoyed or this helped you. Subscribe if you want to see more content. And I'll see you guys for the next video.